backyard container gardening. Moses is gardening in southwest Florida and he's showing YouTube that we can grow our own food without tons of acreage. If you only have like a balcony or a front stoop or a patio, Urban Backyard Container Gardening features his grow bags and many more traditional containers as he reaps and sows throughout Florida's ever-changing forecasts. There's even a greenhouse on the patio or a patio in the greenhouse. <laughs> Climbing plants and sprawling plants. Even towers and cages find themselves growing food for Moses. And he is in love with super hot peppers. He's a chili head, y'all. He makes his own hot sauce. There are also fruit trees. Yeah, you heard me. Fruit trees in containers on the patio. Banana, papaya, mulberry. What can't he grow back there? He's even got future french fries. <laughs> Well, you know, who knows what the future holds for those potatoes, but we know they're growing in containers. Y'all saw him pouring Kool-Aid on his taters, right? That's an important step. Don't leave it out. <laughs> so if you're into small space or urban patio backyard gardening, come over and check out Moses at Urban Backyard Container Gardening. Belt Loop 29. Belt Loop 29 is a channel that backs the blue because he's one of the blue. But he wants the world to know there's a human being behind the badge. And Belt Loop 29 focuses on some of the interests of said human being. He actually has four channels and the other three periodically update. They are a cooking channel, there's one dedicated to the family food forest, and one featuring the critters. Belt Loop 29 differs from those other three in that about six months in, he placed major focus on teaching Southern idioms and his word of the day in a $5 word Wednesday. Now, it's not a $5 giveaway. It's just a $5 word. There are occasional random videos thrown in, but for the most part, Belt Loop 29 has been helping those who desire to learn what in the world Southern Americans are really saying when they say stuff that doesn't quite make sense, but kind of does. Most of the videos on Belt Loop 29 are short and to the point, so if you got a spare minute, learn some Redneck 101 with Belt Loop 29. Matt Acre Farms do you wonder how they got their name? I mean, they are a farm, but... Oh, they have a website that explains their market farm and the bounty it produces, if you're into that. Okay, so they're a farm. We got that. But why Mad Acre Farm? Because some of the things they do and the techniques they use can only be described as, well, <laughs> mad. <laughs> but they totally have a method to their madness. Well, some of it anyway. On Mad Acre Farm, this husband and wife duo, Ryan and Jamie, are high school sweethearts who, along with Piper, show us lots of fun and sometimes sweaty how-tos on how we do's, you know, while adding just enough humor to keep the farm chores fun. For viewers, anyway. Ryan tells us stories of how Jamie caught him hiding under the bed and about his fear of angry bees. <laughs> He's caught a lot of angry bees. You should look into those. It's a real waker-upper. <laughs> Not that you'll need waker-uppering with Mad Acre Farms. Because every moment is like a thousand goat massages. I think. I can only imagine what a goat massage must feel like. Probably like a giant hornworm is crawling on your back or something. So if you're down with homestead life on a family market farm mixed with hydro and apiaries and two- and four-legged critters, you'll want to check out Mad Acre Farms. You'll find out how they got their name. <laughs> Gardening in containers and maximizing space. Thin blue line demystifying redneckology. Iowa Market Farming the Ryan Jamie Way. Are these your people? 